Hey guys, it's Brad, Yamaha Marine Center, 1515 Wells Road in Orange Park, right off of 295. Looks different over here now because there's all kinds of construction going on. It's either tearing our parking lot up and uh, some motel going in next door to us. But our building should be up right there pretty soon. But more importantly today, I have a boat that is in our brokerage. 2018 Pursuit Dual Console 265. Kind of the boat that started it for them uh, back in 2011-ish. Uh, this one is going to include this Road King trailer that he just put new tires on um, after our last trip uh, last summer down to the Keys because he blew a tire, which is why this fender's a little wonky. So we put all new uh, heavy-duty stuff on it. So it's ready to go. Trailer. Just had it clean, waxed. Um, we can get a replacement for the boot stripe it's just it was hitting the bow stop on its way up so it was a little bit damaged so we had the detailer clean that up but some quick specs uh length overall is 25 feet 10 inches <clears throat> eight foot nine on the beam draft uh motors up one foot seven inches motors down two feet ten inches uh clearance from water line seven feet six inches and it weighs about 6,200 pounds dry with engines, uh, 139 gallons of fuel, 18.5 gallons of fresh water, live wells 19 gallons, fish box 31 gallons, and uh, max horsepower is 400, and the dead rise at the back is 21 degrees, which is going to be a discussion we will have on this particular model, because uh, you can see in the front, like every pursuit has a nice steep entry with really aggressive lifting strikes and that uh, reverse chine there to help deflect water and i personally was on this boat with him coming back from bimini two years ago uh, we had to put his family on the big boat because he had uh, his wife or girlfriend and kids and stuff and so i drove this boat back for him because it was his first boat at that time and it was three to five foot seas and the boat did really well uh going through that we took a couple over the bow but you know it's a pursuit and get through it <clears throat> we do have a little bit of haziness in the whole side. I don't know if you can, the camera will pick it up, but it looks like somebody was um, buffing and didn't really know what they were doing. So my detailer said we'd come back out and uh, correct their mistake. But for the most part, everything's in great shape. No damage uh, to the hull side. Like I said, those few scratches and stuff. And then even the keel is clean. A few little scrapes, but nothing through like the gel coat. And then of course the nice through stem windlass on this side of the hull. Again, clean, freshly waxed. She looks good. So we'll hop up in the boat, take a look at all that stuff. Two and five sixteenths ball, if you were gonna ask. So you can come pick it up, drive it off. Had some clamp on rod holders on the side. So you can see the guy uh, like the fish, which is why we're, we're moving up to a Sport 288. But we have the, uh, quattro underwater lights <clears throat> and this was the discussion i wanted to have so when this boat first came out it was designed to run a single 350 twin 150s or twin 200s now uh, when they moved up to the 266 in 2019 i believe uh, they only offer it with twins so that's going to be the biggest difference in ride between the 265 this previous generation boat and the new generation 266 you can see that rounded transom that way they could get that single engine with the 30 inch shaft to get in, uh, enough clean water so uh, it, it doesn't affect the ride like, like i said going through heavy seas is fine it's just the boat likes to bow steer if you it's very sensitive to trim if you leave the engines tucked under um, and get that bow down in the water um, it will bow steer so it's a it's an odd feeling if you never experienced it once you trim the engines out it runs fine runs great it's just one of those things where you got to drive the boat a little bit more <clears throat> don't fall Whew. all right so transom splash well nice big platforms uh, they don't have that that euro style uh, extension on this model that wasn't into the 266 but everything on the boat super clean after we just got done detailing it have an e-perb installed i think you can transfer ownership of those and of course we have the fold out seats with the pop-up backrest and then we did the optional port side seat on this one too which is locked there so i'm gonna need two hands and then we got a freshwater shower and then live well fish box there's that big fish box no macerator 
does drain overboard. Everything on this boat drains overboard, which is nice. Fresh water fills back there. Pop up cleats, tool storage under there, and then the mechanical space. We do need to get a new hydraulic for this. Uh, the, the hatch will fall down. But there is your, I believe that's a fresh water pump. Yep, wash down pickup coming out of that through hole. And then your bait well pickup comes out of the same through hole. Got a battery charger installed. Fuel filters, batteries in there. Again, everything's pretty clean. We got a little cooler underneath this seat. Fire extinguisher in there now. And then we have a sink. And then your MDP. Your distribution panel, I think is what they're referring to when they call it MDP. Garmin 8612. Yamaha. Gauge 6YC or something like that. I don't remember what model this is. But hours. 150 hours. 149.8 port, 150.5 on starboard. And then uh, Garmin VHF, JL Audio, Media Master 100. All the switches still in good shape. Nice clean dash. The uh, ignition's underneath there. Head compartment, have the marine head with overboard discharge, Corian countertops, no wood veneer on this one, easy to keep clean, and then one of my favorite parts of this boat, if you do like water sports or just for storage reasons, is this gigantic storage space, your power steering's there, your through holes for the deck drains, and I believe the... Um, I thought the macerator, the through hole for the overboard discharge was down here too. Yep, that, that's it right there. That's not a deck drain. That's the discharge for the head. And this does fully close when you have the windshield closed in. And then you have your canvas up here. This one also has the taco outriggers. Don't want to forget about those. Uh, 380s? The older ones, they're not the 390s, but they still have the up and down and the, the movement inside the boat. More storage. A bunch of life jackets. You can have them if you want them. Access to your electrical system for all your wiring behind the home. And then more storage insulated up here, so you can use these as coolers if you want. Uh, the seats are designed to stay up. So you can access the entire area. Uh, combing pads all the way around. Um, not quite as deep as far as a uh, gunnel height and freeboard in here as uh, the 266. It actually, it's pretty similar on that one. But once you go up to like the 295, you get a lot more uh, freeboard up front. So if you're seated up front, you feel a little bit better about riding in rougher conditions. And then the windless locker with remote so you can control it from the dash or from the front of the boat all nice and clean nice thick structure up here to tie the anchor into pop-up cleats everywhere big cleats so you can run the heavier lines half inch lines more speakers but overall nice clean boat ready to go um engines will be serviced uh we'll get all that done to make sure we're all up to date on that uh, we have performed all the service we did sell him the boat brand new in uh, 2019 he's it's been a one owner boat serviced by us so if you need any records or anything we can probably provide those but if you have any questions on this boat or any of the others that aren't here right now that are in the warehouse Feel free to give us a call, Brad or Barton, 904-644-7631. Or you can always get us on the website, Yamaha Marine, JAX.com, YMCJAX.com. And uh, we'll continue to update you on the building progress and any other boats we might be getting. Thanks. Have a great day.